Hello guys, in this video, let's configure optional claim. So what is optional claim? So optional claim, it returns additional claim in JWT token such as country or email, etc. So guys, we have already discussed JWT token in detail. So JWT token, it already has claims like name, preferred name, etc, which we have again already discussed. But in addition, if required as per our need we can return the additional claims as well in this JWT token and again guys JWT token it is returned from Azure Active Directory to our application after user successfully logs in okay so in this video we will configure this optional claim and then we will debug the JWT token which we receive of that logged in user and we will verify if the optional claim which we have configured is present in the token or not. So first let's go to the Visual Studio. So guys we are in Visual Studio and this is our ASP.NET Core web app which we have been working so far and we have already enabled Azure Ready authentication for this app. So let's run. So program runs successfully and we are by default logged in with this user that is herschel.gen.net but again let's log in with some other user that is John David which the user which we already added in this tenant so again I will go in I will open my browser in incognito mode and let's enter this our app URL. So again let's try to log in with that user that is John David. Again we have added John David as a user in our tenant. So we already know the password. And now guys before I click on sign in I will press F12. So let's start this browser debugger. And here I will now say sign in. Here I will say yes. And yes, you can see now we are logged in with this user that is John David. Okay. Now on the right hand side, let's go up and let's click on this sign in OIDC. So let's copy this JWT token. Again, we have already discussed this JWT token in detail in our earlier videos. We already debugged that token. So we'll open a new browser and here I will say debug JWT token. and let's provide that token over here and on the right hand side we can see we have these claims like name then we have this oid then we have this preferred username but you see the claim country is not present also the claim email is not present but let's say our application requires the country as well of this logged in user again this this is jwt token and after user successfully logs in this JWT token is provided by Azure AD to our app. Let's say now our app requires the country of that user as well. So what we can do? So for that now let's go to the Azure portal. So guys we are again in Azure portal and let's open this Microsoft Intra ID. So this is our tenant. Here we have this applications one. So let's open that. Let's click on all applications and let's open this app. Now guys on the left hand side see this token configuration. So let's click on that. And here I will say add optional claim. And here I will say ID. And here now we have the list of all additional claims we can select as optional claim. So as of now I will select country that is ctry so let's select it and now i will say add and that's it guys now when this user that is john david he will try to log in his country will also be provided in jwt token but then we need to set the country as well right for this user so let me duplicate this tab let's again click on home and let's open microsoft intra id 
so again we are in this default directory that is the tenant which we have been working so far now let's click on this users as of now we have three users so again this Herschel Jain is by default available and this John David and Mark Willis we explicitly added these users in one of our earlier videos so now let's open this record that is John David so again guys these are the users in tenant now here I will say edit properties and here I will say contact information let's go down and here you see this country or region okay so I will mention FR okay so we have added FR as a country for this user John David so let's save it now let's close it and now let's go to the visual studio and let's stop this execution and now let's run our project again so again by default we will be logged in with Herschel J so let's again copy this URL and let's go in incognito mode oh okay I think we need to log out first from John David as well so we click on log out log out and let's click close this and again let's open incognito mode so let's paste it over here and let's say enter and here yes we need to log in with this John David and let's provide the password and again I will press F12 let's start browser debugger and I will say sign in I will say yes and again on left right hand side let's go up and let's click on this sign in hyphen OIDC so again guys remember this sign in OIDC it is our callback URL which we specified in app settings.json see and to this URL the JWT token is returned right so let's copy it and let's see if the optional claim is present in this or not so we'll say debug JWT token first one and let's paste it over here and you see guys we got this country as FR okay so that's how we can configure optional claims as per our requirement in this JWT token